Welcome back to Getting Started with Game Creator. In this fourth episode, we'll overview the last of the visual scripting components, triggers. We've seen how actions can be executed clicking at the little play button, which is used for debugging. What we need is something that listens to events and responds by calling actions and conditions. Here's where triggers come into play. Some examples of triggers are when the player enters a certain area, or when the user presses a key, or even each time a character takes a step. A complete list of all available triggers can be found in the documentation. To demonstrate how they work, let's continue where we left the previous example. We now want to execute the conditions when the player clicks on the chest. To do so, we delete the actions component that called the conditions and replace it with a trigger. We click on the Change Trigger button and select the On Mouse Left Click element from the drop-down list. We see an error message saying that this type of trigger requires a collider. We select the Sphere Collider and adjust the size to fit the chest. Once this trigger is called, we need to tell it what actions and conditions will be executed. Click on the plus button, which creates an empty slot, and drag in the conditions component. Let's click play and see the results. As we can see, when we click on the chest, it opens, and further clicks will just print, the chest is already open.